Hello everyone. Well, at the time of recording this video, I've just unboxed Over Sprint. Now, to me, this has only just happened, but to you, it could be weeks or months since I unboxed this. So I do like to uh, give a bit of variety on my channel, so I didn't want to give you all the same sort of things, you know, in succession, which is why you're seeing the next unboxing today. And it's from the same seller, it's another Hoover, and it's from the same era as the Sprint. And it's this. Again, a very budget cleaner. This is probably the bottom of the range of the Hoover Quick Brooms. This is model S2095. It's just a single speed, three amp motor, Quick Broom 2. I've had a sneaky peek at this, just to check it was okay but uh, I have not assembled it or switched it on, so we'll do that now. Now the Quick Broom is another cleaner I was familiar with thanks to being sent a load of American Hoover leaflets from the Hoover company back in the, I think it was the late 80s. Most of the leaflets I still have date from around 87 to 91, that sort of time frame. So I think this will date from possibly about 88, 89. We might be able to tell from the serial number. This is bagless, um, but bagless, not cyclonic bagless. This is bagless in the way a Hoover Power Plus with dust cup is bagless. In fact, it has a cloth bag and a cup at the bottom. So basically you have to shake the bag in order to release the dirt into the cup. So it's gonna be a messy one to empty, I expect. All right, let's pull this out. Right, well if this is, uh, ooh, ooh, it's a bit, mm. I was going to say if this is as good as the uh, Sprint I'll be happy. It's got some sort of a sticky residue on the cable, yeah, but I'm not surprised as I say this is, um, this is new in the box, it's been in the box for a long time. So again, exactly the same as the Sprint, this comes with the warranty details and also the consumer response card that I read out in the Sprint video. Here's the instruction book. Review this manual before operating the cleaner. So we do have to do some assembly. And it's showing various other models because there's some that came with a deluxe wheeled nozzle and some had th up to three speeds off low medium and high but this one is certainly just a single speed machine but you know i um i wanted it because as you may know i'm a sucker for older vacuums that are new in the box but no matter what they are i find it very interesting to unbox them so basically that is the same nozzle that came with the Sprint, but this one doesn't have the pip fitting. This seems to be just a friction fit. Right. I'm gonna have to wash my hands because I don't know what the, what the sticky thing is, but uh, <laughs> I'm sticking to this vacuum. Right, oh, it's a bit odd packaged. Um, Right. Ah, oh, so that's the nozzle end. This is how do I open this up? Do I have to? I might have to use my box cutter. The box cutter has gone walkabout again. It's very camera shy, so I'll have to use the scissors. I've, I've only just used it. Right, that's it. Right, is this going to help? Right, oh, it's because it's, you see, it's, it's all attached. Well, not all of it. Right, so here's the dust cup anyway. Hoover Quick Broom 2 dust cup. Pop that there. 
trying to keep the packaging as intact as I can because, you know, it will be going back in its box. I don't have the room to display things, really, at the moment. I don't know if I ever will. But to keep... Oh, what? That seems odd. Yeah. You see, there's something very sticky. It's like almost like honey on the cable. It's not very nice. And I think I'm going to need um, sticky stuff remover. I've tried a wet wipe. It didn't really work. Ah, right. Now, this one, I think, has suffered a bit from being in its box. There's some sort of a foamy material here that I assume forms the seal when the dust cup's on. And that looks like it's perishing. There will be something I could do with that, um, even if it's like a silicon sealant, maybe. Just uh, put it all around. Maybe I'll do something with that anyway. Um, right, so. I don't think, how on earth did they get that on there? Oh, hang on. That's it. That's it. There we are. I'll never get that back in the box how it was. Never. Never in a month of Sundays. Right. This is the bag and it's packed inside out. You can see on the other side it is actually a light grey with a, a sort of a blue, royal blue stripe. So, right. Now, for some reason, there is some tape on here. And that's, you know, that's uh, coming away. I'm assuming it's supposed to be on there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this hasn't been out of the box. Certainly not used. It's got uh, one screw, which I'll obviously need to remove. Let's put that together so I don't lose it. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit like the screw that uh, would attach a Hoover handle together, Hoover uprights handle. Okay, I'm just going to have to peruse the instruction book briefly, but. Um, I think basically I just have to attach the handle together. I've already made a mistake. Apparently I should have kept some of the cardboard packaging on this, but anyway, hopefully it won't matter. And I've got to somehow push all this cable through. It doesn't seem to be room for it. I mean, how on earth? Oh, there we are. Right, there we go. Make sure the handle's around the right way. It's got to be ever so careful. I don't trap anything and I need, I need to make sure that there is a hole all the way through when I line up the holes to attach the bolt which goes, yeah, there's a square end, that square end there so that the bolt goes through there because that's got a square piece. Just be careful I don't trap the cable. That's it. That seems okay. And just tighten that by hand. Now this looks like I could use a coin but being poor I don't have any. Fortunately though, well, I think that's nearly tightened. I'll just for the final little tighten up. Probably doesn't need it but I'll just use my screwdriver there. All right, that should do it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to refer to the instructions. So that's that bit done. Put the handle together, attach filter bag. Oh, using a Phillips screwdriver, unfasten band from top of cleaner slash motor housing by removing screw at back of band. Um, well, that's the band. And fortunately I've got my screwdriver here, so I'll just have to change the, the bit for a Phillips type. <coughs> Let's undo it. There we are. Did it set? I've forgotten already. Do I have to remove this completely? Check again, Roger. Push cord. Yes, done that. Attach an unfastened band. Just this unfasten it, I don't have to take it off. Pull bag down over cleaner edge, fitting plastic strip sewn inside bag into groove. Um, right. Um, 
Oh, I expect this bag will be a bit creased up, but hopefully, once it's got some warm air going into it, it will uh, uncrease. I'm assuming, I might be wrong, but I'm assuming this could possibly be a dirty fan cleaner. I'm not sure. And I think this was available in lots of different variants. Ah, oh, well, this, the thing that I shouldn't have removed is okay. That That's still there. So, just being very careful. You see, the, the thing with um, buying American vacuums as well, it's not as easy for me if I need to repair anything or get spares. I can get them, but it's not like I can buy them from the UK and they're cheap. You know, with the shipping costs and etc. Right. Yeah, so as I was saying, this would have come in various variants. Um, there was possibly a powerhead ver version of this. But this was designed for quick cleanups. It wasn't really uh, meant to replace a full sized vacuum. So, this in the day, before cordless cleaners were widely available. I mean, I expect, yes, at the time this was available, you could get the dust buster type machines, but you didn't get the sort of variations of cordless cleaners we have now. So nowadays, of course, we would have a cordless machine for quick pickups, but this is what they had in the 80s, in the late 80s. Right, I think that bag, or does it, hang on, it's hard to, I think I should line it up. with that well that's the bag more or less in place you are supposed to line up the seam with this little mark here I don't know if you can quite see it there's a little line it's as near as I can get it I've been fiddling with it for ages so um, I'll leave it at that it'll do for now I might have a little play with it later when I'm not recording I'm always aware that you know sometimes I go on for a bit too long I'm often surprised myself at how long the video is when I get to editing it. But in fact, you, there's a lot you don't see because some, some of my videos would be sometimes maybe twice as long. I don't do those really, really long videos anymore because people just don't watch them. And it's just, some of you do, I know some of you do, but the majority don't. And it's just a waste of time doing it. But often like this video they run on for a lot longer because you encounter problems like i'm having now sometimes things take a bit longer so to stop this video going on for ages i'll fix this properly but basically what i'm trying to do is screw these bands together to hold the bag in place right okay that's finally done and let's never speak of it again Right, I managed to line it up as well when I wasn't being filmed. So, right now it's a case of attaching the dust cup, which goes this way up. There's a little lever that locks it into place. So it will push the dust cup up against that seal, which as you saw, looks like it's perished or is perishing. Hang on, why is that not going in? Oh, hang on, there we are. It's all new and there we are. So that's in the locked position. That little lever locks it. It's almost ready to go. Just got to attach the carpet and floor nozzle, which is just a push fit. There's a little um, little notch. Can you see it there? I don't know if you can see it there. Just where my thumb is. Just got to line that up with the line at the front so we've got it straight. And then I'm assuming I'll be able to remove this. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but we'll have a look. Attach nozzle. Oh, well, it's not saying to remove the spacer. Da, 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 da. Ah, right. I've attached the dust cap, pushed down on bag cap and remove cardboard spacer between handle and cap, which is this. All right. Yeah. Ah, that's what that springs for. I'd, look. 
That is what you're supposed to do before you empty it. I don't think that's going to shake much dirt off. What I will have to do with this once it's had a demo is vacuum that bag out because that, doing that, isn't going <laughs> to isn't going to make much dirt drop into the dust cup, is it? So, uh, yeah, I think it's all ready to, to go. It's very basic. Got a very uh, basic little on-off switch there. Quite solid feeling handle. I mean, the handle itself is metal. You've got a, a hook there. Whoops, today, hang on. Oh, it's wrapped around the tripod. That's for hanging it up in your closet. Using all the correct American terms, we'd call it a cupboard. But even so, we still come out of the closet in the UK rather than come out of the cupboard. But uh, I think that's it, folks. Think I can switch it on now. Yes, right, it's all ready for a very, very quick demo with some rolled oats. Now, first of all, though, it's got to, this, this is what's covered. I don't know what it is. But um, I think... It's going to need some sticky stuff remover. I've tried a wet wipe thing on it and that uh, hasn't made much difference. But I'm eager to plug it in and try it. Hopefully it'll work. I am going to have to go and wash my hands first. No, in fact, I will pause the video and clean this cable because I'm absolutely covered in whatever is on this cable. Okay, well, before I switch it on, we'll just have a quick look at the rating label. If we can give an accurate date. Comment, please, if you can date this for me. I know roughly when this was produced, but uh, this might give us a more accurate result. So here we go. Hoover Cleaner, the Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio, 44720, model S2095, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 3 amps. So the serial number is 11880035527. Assembled in Mexico, parts made in USA for household use only. Warning, electric shock could occur if used outdoors or on wet surfaces. Okay then, so I'm ready to switch it on. I'm a little bit more concerned with this one. The Hoover Sprint 100 I unboxed was absolutely perfect but this one because of the odd sticky residue all over the cable I'm a little bit unsure so what I'm going to do I've plugged it in I'm going to it's on at the cleaner so I'm going to switch it on actually at the uh, converter at uh, a bit of a distance okay Well, that sounds a little bit poorly on wind down, doesn't it? But that that might be how it's supposed to sound anyway. Right. It seems okay. Well, I suppose it doesn't sound too bad. I'm not really sure what it should have sounded like in the first place. You can see the bag actually inflate when it's turned on. Well, it's sounding a bit better. I think once it's warmed up, it'll be fine. And we've got uh, two storage hooks for the cord down. One there at the bottom and uh, one there at the top so hmm, this is quite unusual for me and again it's pretty rare in this country this might be the only Hoover Quick Broom 2 in the United Kingdom but you've probably got millions and millions of them in the United States okay well just to finish off to see how effective it picks up we'll just put down a few rolled oats and uh, conclude the video
Well, it's picked all those rolled oats up, so it's not done a bad job. It'll be all right for quick cleanups. Okay, let's have a look inside the dust cup. The one thing about this cleaner is it won't stand up on its own. You'd have to lean it up against a wall or just lay it down in between cleaning. For storage though, as I showed you earlier, you can hang it up from the built-in hook. Right, open the dust cup. Well, first actually, we really should agitate the bag. Well, I hope the video doesn't get flagged for that last shot, but I was doing a legitimate action. You are supposed to pump up and down to release the dirt in the bag. Okay, so any dirt that was attached to the bag has hopefully dropped into the dust cup. So we'll unlock the cup. Will my cup runneth over? I don't think I put too much down. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that seal. It's already leaving its residue on the top of the dust cup. Ah, oh, wow. Well, I'm gonna tip that out because apart from what you can see, now this is a new rug. Apart from the rolled oats, it has picked up quite a lot of fibers from the rug. So look at that. So let's tip it out. We'll tip it out into this, the dark part of the rug. It seems, this is what makes me think. <laughs> look at that, it's left two, two little mounds. That's the way it's shaped. <laughs> um, now, please comment if you know, is this dirty fan? Is there a fan? Because to me, it might be because these rolled oats look like they've been shredded a bit. And that's what happens when you use a fan first cleaner. Um, they're certainly more of a fine milled oat than they were when they were sucked up. So I have a feeling, without opening it up, I have a feeling that this is dirty fan. It would make sense that it is. Anyway, comment below if, it, if you know. So, yeah, not bad at all. Well, I think I'll end the video here. If you've got any comments or questions about this Hoover Quick Broom 2, please comment below. But before I go, I can't leave these mounds of dirt. So I'm going to try and pick them up again using the cleaner. I have a feeling it might snow plow initially, but uh, we'll see.